creation is perfect. Everything is where it is meant to be at every moment. We are the divine manifested, spiritual beings experiencing human nature becoming in tune with our atmic origins. There is nothing to worry about when the universe has us in a tight embrace. The future is in our hands, yet already laid out before us. God is laughing at our plans. Can you hear it? Let us love, live in love, exist in love, be in love with ourselves, for we are the universe, living in our own reflection, so we can learn to better tune ourselves with the infinite and become one with ourselves once again. Long, long ago, a person's only tools were their hands. Their only motor came from their physical drive and motivation to live to see another day. is the sun, for it never fails to rise each day. It is the source of time, as it reminds a caveman when the day is done. Once the sun falls, cavemen can no longer work and they retire for the night, gaining strength for another day. Men respected Mother Earth as she provides necessities of living. Her nectar flows from the rivers. Every day, the cavemen are amazed to see the water flowing. It is a miracle that they cannot live without. These are the sole means of living. The choices are nil. One eats to live instead of living to eat. They worship the trees for tirelessly providing to the group and eat till the leaves are bare, never wasting a speck of the fruit, as they believed they were harnessing all their elements to their greatest potential. But they were about to discover something greater. unto this beautiful realm, 
so that all life may live through them. To see what they see, to feel what they feel. As their bodies cry in fatigue, their spirits collect the radiance of a million suns. What gifts have they been given, that they may draw breaths even beyond their capacity, that they shall bring forth with objects through which light does not pass? None. None that were not given to you and I. They all share one belief, that they have been blessed with everything they have been given, and like true patriots, they would devote their lives to preserving such values. It is no wonder they are of the first nations. We may see this as inspirational, but others may not. As happy and grateful as these natives may be for what they have, it is the way people are raised that influences their behavior. We have brought all that we could create, stayed up great nights working to create these offerings. We used all the hours that the bright sun provided us, and we humbly offer these gifts to you. You call these gifts? These would not be fit even for a peasant. Where are our hunting tools? Our blankets, our weapons. We sacrificed our last sheep to create this warm clothing. We used our finest creators. I, I don't understand where we went wrong. You simple-minded people shall never be able to present anything worthy to us. Grab everything you can. These two groups are foreign to each other, from their clothes, to their language, to their attitude. One appreciates the basic tools of living, while the other shares appreciation only for the finer things. But that does not mean one is right and the other is wrong. It is not one's place to say how the other should live. By no means does this mean people cannot change or that they should at all. But as people with different backgrounds, we must accept our differences as we do our similarities and learn to cooperate and grow together because nobody is better off alone in this world. <laughs> through peace and through hardships, it is hope that gives us strength. But no matter how strong we are, it is the support of others that gives us hope. And hope, in return, gives us strength. It is important to realize that strength alone does not lead us to our goals. Strength requires hope if we are to see through to our goals. The strength of this family and the hope they provide each other is what helps them weather the storm. Okay, Amma. Can we eat now? Finally. Now, Mudal Kadavaluk and Nandi Salat the Vendor. Ilaram Bango. Brahma Karma Samadhi Nahar 
could change the way their young daughter understands the world. Imagine the lessons their daughter would teach people that they would eventually pass on to others. The possibilities are infinite and this is the power of sacrifice. If we are to hold ourselves to higher standards as human beings, we must be willing to make sacrifices for the greater good when necessary. to grow as people, we must constantly remind ourselves why we do what we do. This is what motivates us during our dark times and also what propels others on our best days. Technology has caused obsession within us. We forget that we can thrive without it. This journey, by far, has not been one of ease and simplicity. We have yet to find ourselves reconnected to the abundance of Mother Nature. The sun has seen more divisions and walls being built at every rise and set. Despite how interconnected and interdependent we have become as humanity, 
the air has felt more words of anger, misunderstanding, and disrespect fill its lungs at every breath it takes to provide us with our essence. The earth trembles more and more with fear at our carelessness as we attempt to harvest the treasures it has fostered and grown for many lifetimes in its womb before our existence. The oceans are clouded with our muddied thoughts as we swim deep into our bottomless desire to fulfill our wants more than our needs. Somewhere deep within us exists the fountain of appreciation and awe at the creation that has brought us here to this very moment. Covered by the trivial matters that consume our minds from the moment we awaken to when we sleep, it's no surprise that most of our ideas of an escape is somewhere where we have allowed Mother Nature to simply be free. We have grown into a world of man-made phenomena and allowed our creation to be the source of our worries and downfalls. But let us not forget that without the dedication, the perseverance, and the consistency that the universe provides us at every single moment, we would not be able to earn and achieve the feats we can today. There is much to be thankful for, and it is in our capacity to find every moment to do so. Let it be a simple thank you to the world every morning, or even a smile to any passerby, for it is time for us to reconnect to our roots. Like the ever-growing tree that grounds and provides stability, nourishing us with our essentials, yet reaches into the sky through its branches to strive to be one with the sun that shines above it. We, as humanity, take such blessings for granted far too often. For the universe pulses through the strength of the tree, its fruits supported by the foundation of the trunk just as how our growth is supported by God. Let us reconnect to the essence that holds us together, as everything is where it is meant to be at every moment. This creation is perfect, and we are all part of its beauty.